here uh, question is given x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 4 times x plus 5 divided by x minus 2 times x minus 3 times x minus 4 times x minus 5 is equal to 1 so we have to find out the value of x here let's see solution so this is the question now we can do here x plus 2 times x plus 5 times x plus 3 times x plus 4 divided by same here so x minus 2 times x minus 5 times x minus 3 times x minus 4 is equal to 1 now we have to multiply this term so here x times x plus 5 plus 2 times x plus 5 this is first bracket next one is x times x plus 4 so x times x plus 4 plus 3 times x plus 4 divided by same x times x minus 5 minus 2 times x minus 5 times so, uh, times x this one now this one x times x minus 4 minus 3 times x minus 4 is equal to 1 now we have to multiply all this term so here we will get x times x x square plus 5x plus 5x plus 2x plus 5 to the 10 this is first bracket now next one is x square plus 4 times x so it will become here 4x plus 3 times x so 3x plus 4 3 is a 12 divided by here it will become x square minus 5x minus 2x minus minus plus so 5 to the 10 plus 10 times x square minus 4x minus 3x minus minus plus so 4 3 is a 12 is equal to 1 now we can write this one x square plus 5 plus 2 7 7 x plus 10 first bracket next one is x square plus 4 plus 3 is 7 so 7 x plus 12 divided by x square minus 7 x 5 x minus 5 x minus 2 x minus 7 x so it will become x square minus 7 x plus 10 and here it will become x square minus 4 minus 3 so minus 7 x plus 12 x square minus 7 x plus 12 is equal to 1 now here x square plus 7 x plus 10 so we can consider this let's consider x square plus 7 x plus 10 is equal to m right and next one is x square minus 7x plus 10 so next one is x square minus 7x plus 10 is equal to n this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2 now according to 1 and 2 so here x square plus 7x plus 10 is equal to m so we can write this one m m plus here 2 10 plus 2 right so m plus 2 so we can write this one m times m plus 2 divided by this is n x square minus 7x plus 10 is n so n times n plus 2 so here n times n plus 2 is equal to 1 now we got here one equation now we have to do here cross multiplication right so when we are doing cross multiplication we will get here m times m plus 2 is equal to n times n plus 2 now m times m so it will become m square plus 2 times m 2m is equal to n times n so it will become n square plus 
टू एन राइट ना एम स्क्वायर प्लस टू एम माइनस एन स्क्वायर माइनस टू एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो वी कैन राइट दिस वन एम स्क्वायर माइनस एन स्क्वायर एम स्क्वायर माइनस एन स्क्वायर प्लस टू एम माइनस टू एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ एम स्क्वायर माइनस एन स्क्वायर सो वी नो फॉर्मूला दैट इज ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए माइनस बी ए प्लस बी सो हियर एम स्क्वायर माइनस एन स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू एम माइनस एन एम प्लस एन सो वी कैन राइट दिस वन एम प्लस एन टाइम्स एम माइनस एन प्लस टू एम माइनस टू एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो हियर एम प्लस एन टाइम्स एम माइनस एन प्लस वी आर टेकिंग हियर टू कॉमन सो एम माइनस एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ एम माइनस एन हियर एंड एम माइनस एन हियर सो वी कैन टेक कॉमन एम माइनस एन सो एम माइनस एन वी आर टेकिंग कॉमन सो लेफ्ट एम दैट इज एम प्लस एन एम प्लस एन प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो ना वी गॉट हेयर टू इक्वेशन फर्स्ट वन इज एम माइनस एन इक्वल टू जीरो एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज एम प्लस एन प्लस टू इक्वल टू जीरो सो वी कैन राइट दिस वन एम माइनस एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो और नेक्स्ट वन इज एम प्लस एन प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो हेयर देयर फॉर वी कैन से एम इज इक्वल टू एन एंड हेयर एम प्लस एन इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू राइट वी गॉट दिस टू इक्वेशन now you can recall one thing that is x square plus 7x plus 10 is equal to m according to equation 1 and x square minus 7x plus 10 is equal to n so here when we are comparing this to equation 1 and 2 and if you can consider this one is 3 so according to 1 2 and 3 m is equal to n so here it will become this one is equal to this one right so we can write this one x square plus 7x plus 10 is equal to x square minus 7x plus 10 right so here x square x square so we can cancel this one plus 10 plus 10 cancel this one so here 7x is equal to minus 7x so we can say here 7x plus 7x is equal to 0 Seven plus seven, fourteen x is equal to zero. When we are dividing uh, by fourteen, so we will get here fourteen x divided by fourteen is equal to zero divided by fourteen. So x is equal to zero. We got the value of x here. X is equal to zero in this term. Now m plus n is equal to minus two, right? This is the second equation. So according to equation one, two, and four, you can see. Value of m is x square plus seven x plus ten plus value of n is x square minus seven x plus ten is equal to minus two. Now here minus seven x plus seven x, and so we will get here x square plus x square. So it will become two x square, two x square plus ten plus ten is twenty. Is equal to minus two. Now we can take common two here. So two we are taking common. So x square plus ten is equal to minus two, right? So here this two is cancelled from this two. So we can say x square plus ten is equal to minus one. Now x square is equal to minus one and minus ten. It will become minus sign. So here x square is equal to Minus eleven. Now we have to take square root on both sides. So taking square root on both sides, we will get here x square square root is equal to minus eleven square root. So square root is cancelled from square. So it will become x is equal to square root of minus eleven. So this minus eleven we can write is equal to Eleven square root of eleven times square root of minus one, right? Now is equal to square root of eleven times square root of mi uh, minus one. So value of minus one is equal to we know that i square. So here it will become i square. So square is cancelled from square root. So we can so, uh, say value of x is equal to square root of eleven 
and this one is i so 11 i this is the value of x here so we got two value of x in this equation first one is x equal to 0 and next one is x is equal to square root of 11 i now we have to verify this one is correct or not so let's verify for x is equal to 0 if x is equal to 0 so here question is x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 4 times x plus 5 divided by x minus 2 times x minus 3 times x minus 4 times x minus 5 is equal to 1 this is question so we have to substitute value of x is 0 here so 0 plus 2 times 0 plus 3 times 0 plus 4 times 0 plus 5 divided by 0 minus 2 times 0 minus 3 times 0 minus 4 times 0 minus 5 question mark 1 now 0 plus 2 is 0 0 plus 2 is 2 so here it will become 2 times 0 plus 3 3 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 divided by 0 minus 2 minus 2 times minus 3 times minus 4 times minus 5 question mark 1 now 2 3 is a 6 times 5 4 is a 20 divided by 2 3 is a 6 minus minus plus times 4 5 is a 20 minus minus plus question mark 1 so here 6 is divided from 6 20 is divided from 20 so it will become here 1 1 is equal to 1 so we can say here lhs is equal to rhs so value of x is equal to 0 this is correct solution for this equation and next one is x is equal to square root of 11 i but this is complex solution so these are two solutions for this equation thank you